and the serial killer Levi Belfield reportedly confessing to another murder in an interview from prison. Let's uh, go straight to our crime correspondent, Martin Brunt. Uh, Martin, just tell us how the uh, facts around this latest uh, murder came to light. Well, it began last year. Um, the uh, disappearance of Elizabeth Chow uh, has been an unsolved case for the Metropolitan Police for 24 years. But last year, Levi Belfield apparently told a prison visitor at his prison in Durham that he had killed Elizabeth Chow. Um, he then later wrote a statement, and all of this was passed to the Metropolitan Police, but it was only this week um, on Tuesday that two detectives went to visit him in Franklin's prison and he confessed to the murder. He described how he had killed Elizabeth and, most importantly, he gave the two detectives some details of the location where he left buried her body, um, apparently at some woodland in West London. She was last seen in 1999 in the Ealing area of West London. Now, all of this is confirmed by Belfield solicitor Theresa Clark, um, who was in on the interview at Franklin Prison. The detective spent up to six hours interviewing Belfield. Um, Miss Clark says that he feels it's important the family has closure and justice after so long. Of course, he gains nothing from this and there is never any good publicity for Levi Belfield. And Belfield, of course, is one of Britain's most notorious serial killers. Uh, he's serving a whole life sentence for three murders, including the murder in 2002 of the schoolgirl Millie Dowler. Um, uh, apparently, Elizabeth Chow's family have shown some concern that it's taken a year for the Metropolitan Police to go and talk to, um, face to face, to Belfield. Um, the reason for that might be that Belfield is notorious for playing games with detectives to admitting a number of other murders, but um, it does appear that the Metropolitan Police are taking him seriously in this case and are preparing to go and dig at that spot in West London where he says he left the student's body.